Hey, Baines. How are you? Tosh, I'm so happy it's 9 o'clock in the morning and you guys are up. I know this is not a scheduled session, but I felt the need to check up on my people, see how y'all doing. Let y'all know I'm feeling like a very basic mood. Hey, how are you, Juliana? Morning. Yeah, so I'm about to do my makeup. And because I'm in a basic mood, it's going to be a real basic look. Realize, you know what? We ain't got to go all fancy every day. We just got to use this beauty products to enhance our beauty because we ain't going nowhere anyways, right? But today is like the second day I'm about to go outside for work. So put my game face on. <laughs> what are y'all up to today? Everybody in a good mental health? Oh, you're more than welcome. Today is Thoughtful Thursday, so I thought to myself I should probably share a little bit of positive energy and joy to people. While I get ready to actually leave this house. The other thing I gotta say, right? I woke up and I was checking my emails. And I feel like we need to have a conversation about this whole essential worker situation. Hey, boo. So I got an email from one of my real estate boards talking about realtors are now considered essential workers. First of all, I think we need to define what is essential to living, right? I always thought realtors were essential workers and people were like, oh, but you know, it's just houses like. But this is a business, and people need a place to live, right? When we think about survival, doesn't it mean like, okay, you need a roof over your head, you need food for sustenance, you need health care in, in case you get sick. Yeah, you definitely need teachers for learning factors. How, how do you cancel online school, Josh? How do they do that? <laughs> hey, David. So does anybody, like, have any opinions about, like, how do we define what is essential or not? Because these people, they need help. I don't think they, they really got this whole thing under control the way they think they do. And not everybody's logic makes sense either. And just so you know, I'm not going to stay on here too long because I definitely do have to get to this appointment by like 10 o'clock. Oh, <laughs> you're canceling homeschool? Oh, gosh. <laughs> I mean, well, look at it like this, Tosh, right? If you weren't there, right, you sent her to school, the teacher would have to deal with her, right? And the teacher has a whole bunch of kids to deal with. She would have to figure it out. So maybe be okay you just kind of, like, look, sit here and listen to the teacher. And if you have a question, ask the teacher. Um, so... Let's say, I'm going to create a whole new category, sub-essential. I would say taxes are sub-essential, right? Because if you look at the people who are filing for unemployment and people who are filing for all these other benefits, to hold them over while they're not working, they're going based off of the taxes that they filed in the previous years, Right. And some people, it might be the taxes that you filed in 2019 for those who got it out the way I didn't. Um, and then the rest of the people have to go based off of what they filed in 2018. So I would say, like, people should probably still file taxes, especially if it's a matter of um, your income might have went down so you can receive more benefits. But everybody got to kind of figure out what they want to do. I don't think that this whole thing is a reason for people not to file taxes. And if people can't make the deadline, then they should definitely file for the extension. The other thing, too, is that people's whole thought process in a state of emergency is just different. Nobody's actually thinking logically because, well, some people are, but a lot of people aren't thinking logically because they're still in panic mode. They're still trying to, like, come to terms with what's going on months later. So 
there's all of those things too. Yeah, but they still got to file the extension, don't they? And does the extension get automatically approved? Or is it something that you have to wait to find out if it got approved or not? <laughs> Tosh, just just do it, okay? Get it over with. You can now file by July 15th. Okay. Well, maybe you might have to take the proactive route. Call people and be like, hey, how you doing? And... Maybe people who would normally meet you around this time, follow up with them. And if they have the mind space to deal with it, then you could tell them, okay, you know, we could do your taxes. I mean, you could pace yourself too, because I know that accounting is one of those things where it could be very overwhelming because everybody's rushing to do it all at once. So take advantage of the fact that people are not bombarding you either. So I'm doing my makeup a little bit differently today because I'm in a rush. I know I don't look like I'm very calm, but I'm like panicking on the inside about this whole time factor. Yeah, but it's always going to be like that, you know. Everybody thinks differently, so it is what it is. Do you have any input, I guess, while you're on here for people who are thinking about doing a real estate transaction in relation to their taxes? You know what? We should do a tax segment, like things that homeowners need to keep in mind when they own a house, like any documents they should retain. See? Work on a session with me. Tap into the creativity, too. <laughs> Oh, Juliana, do you know anything about the student loan situation? Is the interest just frozen on payments altogether? I'm finding conflicting reports. Um, Tosh, I think also that with that, it really depends. Because I've seen people who have been posting that they've gotten deferment notices and stuff like that. And let me tell you, I have government loans too for my student loans. And they've been auto-hitting for the past week. I, I haven't gotten that report yet saying, hey, Mindy, your student loans are in deferment. They, they still taking my money. And you know what? It's like, yes, it's great to like not have to pay your student loans right now, but pay it now, pay it later. I feel like you still have to pay it. So if you have it to pay it, then just let it be what it is. Um, at the same time, if you know like you're living off of a certain amount of money in savings, and you need that money to stretch, you're going to have to hit them up and be like, hey, so I don't know what my situation is going to be like, so can we do something about deferring this later? And I think that's what they're really looking for people to do also, to just say, hey, this is my situation. Because if you don't say anything, they don't know what's going on with you. So you have to be proactive for yourself. Hey, Felix, how are you? Oh, okay. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't go off of that, though. Like, I'm still nervous about anything where it's like you don't pay and something good happens. Like, I'm, I'm as optimistic as I am. I'm kind of cynical when it comes to stuff like that. I would just call and make sure they get the notice. Like, hey. I need you guys to put my account on forbearance because this is my situation. And write down somewhere, either your notepad or your notebook, the date that you make that call, who you spoke to, what the end result is. Because if next month rolls around and the next month rolls around and that thing hits your credit report, at least you can call them and say, hey, I called on this day and I spoke to this person and they told me everything was going to be fine. And you guys are doing otherwise. The one thing is you expect people to do what they're supposed to do. And a lot of times they don't. So I don't, I don't trust that type of auto forbearance anything. 
Yeah, exactly, Joanne. Cool. <laughs> Felix, I don't, I don't know nothing about Sally and her cousins, but I'll take your word for it because I've heard people been complaining about them for a long time too. Yeah, I'm looking for here it goes. My liner. I'm gonna do a very basic look today. So just accentuate certain things. I feel like I'm using this <laughs> video as a camera, but I need like a real mirror right now. And let me tell you, those customer service people, please cut them some slack, right? I'll tell you this. I think some of them are real frustrated because they're like, why I got to deal with y'all people? Y'all know y'all got to pay y'all student loans, right? And they probably hear everything under the book. So when you call them, just be a little nice to them. And you might get one that's a little nice and a little helpful just because of that, right? It's not their fault that these companies make policies that really don't make any sense. <laughs> Tosh, I'm doing a very simple look today. And let me tell you, I know, like, I need a mirror to fix this because that, that side don't look right at all. Uh, let me tell you, since I started doing this faces of real estate thing, uh, my project, I should, it's not a thing, it's a project, right? Um, so the patience that it takes to do some of these looks, I'm telling you, I will record in a day and then not like the look that I came up with. And the videos make this thing look so much easier than they actually are. And then what I'm going to do, my sister does this and I love it, is just like the inner corners, just add a little sparkle. Yes. That little sparkle is like the world. It just makes your face brighten up, right? So use this Urban Decay. No, what's this? The Warrior by Julius. Juvius. Bear with me, people, right? See that little sparkle right there? Goes a long way. Slither Kings, you and them snakes, boy. Can you see like the little, the gold shimmer? Right? I got more on this side than that side. And then... I'm gonna add my Urban Decay Shimmer to my cheeks. I'm just gonna be glowing today, y'all. That sun is gonna hit in all the right places and they're gonna be like, oh, this girl right here is shimmering. So 
bang. And then just mascara this up. This bottle, I'm surprised it's not done yet. This is the Colossal Volume Express by Maybelline. It is awesome. And I thank you guys for tuning in because this is really me just doing a little practice run. Don't forget, tomorrow I'm doing game night by Popular Vote. It's going to be 7 p.m. And I do it this way so I can kind of spread this out. All right. Have a good day, Taj. Good luck with school. And my makeup is done just like that. I'm not even going fancy. Ow. I'll catch you guys later.